when it comes to art? Like, why do you have this response to this type of music or this type of painting or whatever? Um, it tells you something about yourself. And it tells you often about something that's really kind of deeply held values that are not often sort of brought to mind or center stage in, in your kind of explicit thinking. Um, but it's not easy to find the roots of this. So sometimes um, like there's some kind of music I like and I might say, well, why is it that I respond so positively to this? Why do I want to listen to this all the time? Well, what does it do for me? And I think I can get a handle on some of it. And sometimes I don't know. Like mm -hmm. it's sometimes these things, I just respond to it. And it's not fully clear, but I think it's worth doing the introspecting. And, you know, Ayn Rand has this, uh, a couple of articles on this issue in her book, The Romantic Manifesto. One's called, um, I guess the major one is called uh, Art and Sense of Life, where she talks about the kind of psychological roots um, to uh, that underlie a person's response to art. Um, and she thinks it has to do with some very early value judgments. Um, when you're thinking about yourself in the world, what's possible to you, what's important in life. Um, is it excitement? Is it calm? Is it like, what is important in life? And often artworks will resonate or bring out, they'll tap into is the word I'm looking for, some of those kind of things. And which is often why it you respond in a deep way to things. And it's often hard to understand. It's often hard to pinpoint like what it is about this. Uh, so there's an element of it, of of a psychological cause, not yet not not yeah not in a negative sense, but just like it's an early kind of formed value judgments about things.